40, 80, easily a million. That's good. That's good. Yeah. A million dollars. Yeah. Right, so check this out. This is a timeline of the electric guitar and I think this guitar right here is probably the most important guitar ever made. And the cool thing is, today I'm gonna play one. Let's go! These guitars very rarely make it to the market, so to be able to see one, to play one, that's a chance you gotta take. So I think the Fender Telecaster is the most important electric guitar ever made. It changed the way we look at the guitar, how the guitar sounds, how music sounds as a whole. And today I'm having a chance not to play one of the first Telecasters ever made, no, 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 something way more rare, way more special. I'm actually playing a Fender Broadcaster. I'm Simon Gauf, I'm uh, the managing director of Guitar Point. I'm 43 and I'm, I'm doing this for 23 years. Yeah, I toured, I toured Germany with a top four record back then and um, yeah, I kind of miss it. What's the deal with these broadcasters? Why are they so rare and so expensive? It's almost like the first electric guitar ever made. It's all original. It's been featured in Norm Harris' book. Um, it was part of his collection. Uh, do you mind if I hold it? No. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, lightweight. Yeah, it's super lightweight. Oh. Feels really good. It feels brand new, man. Really, like it could be a custom shop. Just hanging on the wall. It's really, wow. So light. This is my perfect weight for it, Ellie. Yeah. Yeah. I don't feel like I'm playing some ancient old thing that I have to be careful with. I'm playing a guitar that sounds great. It feels great. I didn't even plug it in yet, but sometimes you just know how a guitar is gonna sound even if you don't plug it in. It's crazy. Can I plug it in? Yeah, sure, of course. Ah. <laughs> Let's uh, see how it sounds. It's been a long time since I've been kind of scared playing guitar. Right. Kind of sounds very dark, but that is because we've got the bass circuit in position three, I guess, forward. We can emulate a bass guitar. Sounds like shit. But now, middle position is the famous neck pickup. Oh. DNA, but it says broadcaster because this is where it all started. It's so insane to hold this instrument to realize that in 1950, five years after World War II, Leo van der designed what would be probably the most iconic, the most important electric guitar ever made. And the fact that I'm playing it today, it's really, it's really special. So this is a 50? That's a 50, yeah. In 51, they, they, um, they had to take off the, the broadcaster from the decal yeah. because um, that famous letter from Gretsch um, that they had the patent on the name. And then we have um, a period uh, without the decal, which is called Nocaster, and then the Telecaster yeah. came to life. People ask why are these so desirable? They're just Telecasters. They're not. They're, they're, they're just the, the first ones. And, yeah. and that's the mother of the electric yeah, guitar, exactly, right? Yeah, exactly. And, and that's the holy grail of, for, for everybody who's into the blackguards and Telecasters, and that's the broadcaster. You know what fascinates me so much? The thing is 70 years old? Yeah. So the guitar evolution is like... Zero. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's true. The classic Telecaster riffs. I think this one is... It is a classic. Very iconic. Let's hear the bridge pick up. <laughs> Woo! 
Ooh, that's the tiny twangy one, baby. So we just played a Fender Broadcaster, but the thing is, there's one guitar that's way more valuable than that. When you take it all together, the 59 Les Paul would be considered as the holy grail of electric guitars. I once played an original 1959. It wasn't in that good of a condition. It didn't play too well, so I really don't know how this one's gonna play. So, so the 59 is just yeah, the pinnacle of, of, of the evolution of the Les Paul. Is it okay if I pick it up? Sure. Just sure. first initial reaction. Oh. It's been played. It's been played. Yeah. yeah. Is there something in the shop that compares to this, but then new? Um, this one looks very similar. I'm kind of shocked, to be honest. Gibson 1959, original, worth how much? Uh, yeah, 340k, that's, what, that's a price tag. <laughs> Don't drop it, Paul. Yeah. Versus another highly expensive guitar, probably the best of the best Gibson can get you nowadays. Collector's like Choice number four, Sandy. It's about 13, 13,000. What do you think? Which one sounds better? <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out. All right, let me walk very carefully. Thanks. All right. say to that this is just pretty overwhelming to be honest it's very creamy rich thick the low strings just sound so massive even when you play it quietly my heart melts just a little bit wow usually the humbucker would be double black so that's under the hood under the cover there's a double black humbucker and at some point in 59, Gibson ran out of the, uh, the materials and they used white ones. There was a rumor that these sound better because they could <laughs> see it better. So Stop that's, it. That's just, that's, just, uh, yeah, that's, that's just mystery. But Who is making up all these rumors? Yeah. Stop it. It's stupid. <laughs> ask, ask guitar uh, nerds. <laughs> you know? and, wait, uh, wait. Yeah, you can hear it. It sounds a bit... No, it's, uh, it's, just, it's just fun. And now let's compare it to one of the best Gibsons you can buy today. This guitar plays a little bit better. It's really well set up. It's very smooth. The neck is nice. The least you can expect is that it plays well, and well, it does. And I think it sounds marvelous as well. The only difference for me, it doesn't have the same overwhelming fullness or openness. The old one has a little bit more, something you can't describe and you probably can't get in a new guitar. <laughs> There's a very big difference in tone. This one is so open, so big. It's not only louder, it's also, there's more top end. Just it fills the room like nothing else. Crazy. crazy I'm playing so much good stuff and now let's see what Simon thinks if I do the same yeah. 
Salut <rire> It's more narrow. Yeah. I mean, range of the original old one is like this. It's and and and, yeah. and they are like in the middle somewhere, yeah. and maybe it's the same height, but it's not as yeah, wide. It's not as wide. So although the '59 Les Paul is more valuable and more rare, my heart got stolen by this first commercially successful solid body electric guitar, the Fender Broadcaster. Piece of history. It's really special to be able to, to touch something that meant so much for the music industry. And then being able to play such an item, and not just look at it, but just actually play it and feel what people felt in the 50s, what people inspired back in the 50s. That's truly something else. It's really magical. Guitar didn't change. 70 years, it's still the same. That's the beauty of this design. You got it right that first try. It's such an iconic model. And that's what I think makes the Telecaster the most important electric guitar ever designed. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. See you next time with another video. Cheers.